So let's face it, your interior space looks empty and terribly neglected. You searched Instagram and Pinterest looking for ways to bring a little personality and a little bit of style to your room and all the latest trends say large interior plants are the best way to give your space character, personality, and a little bit of bling. So let's be honest, large indoor plants that are going to give your space character and style can be extremely expensive and let's just say we're not all green thumbs. Today I'm going to show you a very simple DIY ivy tree that's customizable to your home and to your space and I'm going to tell you it is a true showstopper. My name is Heidi Hood with H2 Home Designs where I share innovative and artful designs for your home and I can't wait to share this beautiful DIY with you so let's get started. I came across this DIY ivy tree while visiting a friend and I have to tell you it absolutely knocked my socks off. the designer of this DIY ivy tree if she would be willing to sit down with me and offer a few tips so that I could put together my own DIY ivy tree and these are the things she shared with me. Tip number one from her designer is to select a stand or a container for your tree. Now her tree was constructed with a beautiful vintage Christmas tree stand and she said we're not all going to have that option and that's okay. Simply take a look around your house and see what other things you might have available to you. You could use a traditional Christmas tree stand. A heavy pot with some rocks and soil makes a great option. Or if you really want to have a little fun, how about choosing something like a crate with holes in it that you could just stuff with a variety of different branches. Be creative, just make sure that it's stable and it's heavy. The next tip from our designer is actually my favorite tip and it's take a walk. Once you've decided where you want the tree in your house and you have a general idea of the size and the height of the branch that you need, take a walk. Walk through the local forest or the local woods, walk through a local park, and if those options are not available, walk to your Hobby Lobby or your Michaels and check out the floral section. So if you're like me, you're going to be surprised to find that not all branches are created equal. Some branches grow out laterally and some branches stretch high to the sky, and some are twisted and contorted. So keep in mind your space and the kind of look and style you'd like for your tree. And then also you can consider the bark. Different kinds of trees have different kind of bark. You might find a peely bark like a birch tree. Um, there might be a scaly bark like a pine tree, or some bark comes out in kind of long continuous sheets. And then if you're lucky, you may have some variety in color. You may find gray bark, on your branch brown sometimes a copper color and if you're really lucky you might even find something that's kind of moss colored so as you're selecting the branch the most important thing to consider is your space the shape and the growth of your branch and then how high you want your branch to be And the final tip from our designer is to select your plant. Now we're doing an indoor project, so you're gonna want a plant that's good in partial to full shade or indirect light with some direct light. And our designer recommends the ivy, and there are a couple of different varieties of ivies that you can choose from. You might choose the English ivy. Uh, it's a plant that has uh, glossy leaves. It's a trailing plant, so it's suitable for um, hanging from a basket, but it's also a good climber. The Irish Ivy is also a great option for this project. It's much the same as an English Ivy. Um, it thrives in most conditions, but keep in mind that it's poisonous to people and to pets. And finally, you might consider the heart-shaped Russian Ivy. This Ivy is a climber, and it works really well if planted next to something that it can climb on, like a branch. So as I was putting together my DIY tree, I had this light bulb moment. The table that I was using to put together my tree actually had a hole in it for an umbrella and I thought, wouldn't it be beautiful, a branch that actually fit into that hole, that could be my stand, and then I could construct an outdoor DIY ivy tree and I thought, oh, just imagine the possibilities, what a showstopper that would be for a garden. 
Now the construction of this tree is really, really simple, but I wanted to show it to you on the video just so you have a visual. The growth pattern for the tree branch that I chose is one that stretches to the sky. Uh, the branch itself looks like it's kind of a gray color and the bark is just one continuous piece of bark. I've selected a heavy duty pot from my container and filled it with a little bit of soil. And then I've got the branch that I've selected and you'll see this is my light bulb moment where I realized there's a hole in this table. I could stick a branch in the hole and I could create an outdoor version of this tree. Ooh, it would just be beautiful. Next, I went ahead and stuck my branch into my pot and into the soil. And then I started gently twisting my ivy around the branches of the tree, starting from a lower branch on the tree and kind of working upward. Be careful as you're twisting your ivy around the tree that you don't twist too tightly. And then make sure you leave yourself some slack from the pot itself to the tree so that your ivy's not being pulled too tightly. Next, take your ivy tree indoors and just watch it grow. Water it as usual, and as the vines continue to grow, you'll continue to wrap them around the branch of your tree. It's just that easy, and as I said, no green thumb required. Now you too can do this. You don't have to be a plant lover, and you don't have to be a plant enthusiast. In fact, if you work with an ivy, this project over time is going to take very little time and very little attention from you. So you don't have to have a green thumb. So now I'd like to hear from you. Take just a minute and post in the comments where you think you could use a DIY ivy tree in your house. And then if you really enjoyed the content of this video, take a minute to like the video and share it with a friend. Again, this is Heidi with H2 Home Designs. I want to thank you so much for watching today, and as always, be the reason that someone smiles today. H2 Home Designs would like to say a big thank you to the designer and friend who made this video possible. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and subscribe to H2 Home Designs on YouTube.